Rating 37 on credit analysis models have been, has been refreshed for 2019. So while the name is the same as the rating in 2018, okay, the content has changed a lot in terms of valuation of a uh, risky bond or corporate bond. So as a prelim to calculating the fair value of a risky bond, we will first look at how we calculate the probability of default for every year of the bond. So normally in the question, they will give you the hazard rate or the conditional probability of default. And let's say in this case, the hazard rate of a three-year bond is 2% per year. So let's calculate the probability of survival and the probability of default of the bond for year one, two, and three. Now this is uh, very straightforward. Let's treat them all as independent events. So let's say in year one, okay, so there is a 2% chance of default every year. Okay, this is a probability of default. So there will be a 98% chance of surviving, okay, or no default. So if you're just looking at the first year, of course, uh, the probability of survival is just uh, 0 0.98. Okay, and the probability of uh, failing or, or defaulting is uh, 2%. Now, if you go over to year two, Okay, so in year two, what is the probability of survival? So that means th in this case, in both years, okay, in year one and year two, we have survived. So that would be 98% multiplied by 98%. So that will be equals to 0 0.9604. And what is the probability of defaulting, okay, in year two? So that means in the first year, we have survived, and then in year two, we have defaulted. So that'll be 98% times 2%. Okay, so that will be 0 0.0196. Same thing for year three. So in year three, what's the probability of survival? That means we have survived for all the three years. So that's 0 0.98 times 0 0.98 times 0 0.98. Or in a shorthand, we can write 0 0.98 to the power of 3. So that will be equals to 0 0.9412. And then what's the probability of uh, defaulting in year 3? So that means the uh, first year we survive, second year we survive, and then in year 3, there's a default. So there'll be 90, 0 0.98 times 0 0.98 times 0 0.02. Or in shorthand, we can write 0 0.98 squared times 0 0.02 which means that for the first two years, there is no default, but for the third year, we default. So that will give us 0 0.01921. Okay, so this is the probability of default in year three. So of course, these numbers will then be used to calculate the expected loss of the bonds exposure for every year. So we'll continue that, of course, in the next video. Now, I'll also be careful in the exam. Uh, the hazard rate can change mid-year, okay, or let's say in the future. So, for example, now we assume 2% to be constant every year, okay? But if they tell us that, let's say, in year 3, or let's say in year 2, okay, let's say starting from year 2, let's say the hazard rate goes up to 5%, just in case, uh, then it goes all the way up to year 3, it will also be 5%. So in this case, when we calculate the probability of default, you have to you have to wash out, okay? Because in year two, the probability of uh, surviving is ninety five percent and defaulting is five percent. So when we do the calculation in year two, you have to be careful. So if we default, if we survive in year one and survive in year two, so the probability of surviving in year one is zero point nine eight. The probability of surviving in year two is zero point nine five. Okay, so the numbers are of course uh, different here. So watch out there. So this will be 0 0.931. And the probability of survival uh, of defaulting in year two will be surviving year one, defaulting in year two. So that's 0 0.98 times 0 0.05. So that would give us uh, 0 0.049. Okay, and then for year three, if the hazard rate stays at 5%, then uh, this would be 0 0.98 surviving for the first year, surviving for the second year, and the third year, okay, so that will be 0 0.88445. And then defaulting in year three, that means you will survive for the first year, survive for the second year, 
and then default in the third year. Okay, so in this case, the answer would be 0 0.04655. So be careful if the hazard rate were to change somewhere in the future. Okay, uh, of course, for year one, it doesn't change based on the current assumption. It only changes starting from year two.